With the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, the royal family is no doubt in mourning, and while Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle normally live in California, he's in London with his family during these times. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, as they're also known, moved into their Montecito estate back in 2020, and while they keep the home under wraps for the most part, we've definitely seen some glimpses inside. Not to mention the exterior of the mansion we can see looks like a chateau with lush greenery all over, traditional shutters and other features like a gorgeous pool. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Prince Harry and actress Meghan Markle wed back in 2018 and have often made the headlines, which is no doubt something that happens when you're part of the royal family. While the couple and their children choose to live most of their days out in Santa Barbara, California, rather than London. With the passing of the Queen, of course, Prince Harry has traveled back to be with the rest of the royal family at Bamarl in Scotland. It's said that during these hard times, he will be staying in the UK as well for the time being, as the country mourns Queen Elizabeth II. However, it's not known if Meghan will be joining him the entire time or returning to their home in Montecito. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved to their California home in 2020 and revealed more recently how much they love the home, with Meghan even saying that, we did everything we could to get this house. While they still have a residence to stay at in the UK, they spend majority of their time living in California with their two children. And now, following the Queen's death, there has been a shift in line of succession to the throne. Thanks to a rule made by King George in 1917, King Charles III's ascension to the throne also means that Prince Harry and Meghan's children, Archie and Lilibet Mountbatten Windsor, now technically hold the titles and ranks of Prince and Princess too. Hey guys! Guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and today we're checking out the homes of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. In the summer of 2020, the Duke and Duchess, who had been looking to settle down in California, finally found the home of their dreams when they decided to buy a $14.65 million estate in the heart of Montecito, the Santa Barbara County enclave located on the water. Records show the large property quietly sold in mid-June 2020 to a mysterious trust, but that was only to keep things private, and they secured a $9.5 million mortgage to grab the 7.4-acre compound. Harry and Meghan's home is tucked away on a private, gated street, giving them the privacy they crave, and inside, it spans 18,671 square feet with 9 beds and 16 baths. More recently, Meghan revealed that they fell in love with the peaceful property right away. She said, we did everything we could to get this house because you walk in and go joy and exhale and calm. It's healing. You feel free. The property also has everything the couple and their children could want, so it's easy to see why they feel so content living here. Built in 2003, the Mediterranean-style main abode is decked out in beige and off-white decor with rooms like a library, a games room, and formal living and dining rooms. Of course, there are also places perfect for the young family to relax together, like the Eden Chef's Kitchen or the Regal Entertainment Space with wood paneled walls and a huge TV. The mansion is jam packed with the best amenities throughout, such as a gym, a separate wet and dry sauna, an arcade, a home movie theater, and of course, an elevator. Since moving in, Prince Harry and Meghan have added their own touches throughout the home, including a grand piano that their friend Tyler Perry gave them as a housewarming present, and Soho House rose water candles in each and every room. A source close to the couple explained previously that this is the first home either of them have ever owned. They intend to put their roots down in this house and the quiet community, which has considerable privacy. And it seems since that statement was made, the Duke and Duchess most definitely have done just that. Prince Harry and Meghan can also enjoy the country-style master suite with wood-beamed ceilings, ensuite marble bathroom, and access to a private balcony with ivy-covered pergola. A 3D floor plan of what their master would be laid out like was recently revealed, and the digitally rendered interiors showed a suite with four separate areas. 
There was the bedroom itself, the ensuite, a terrace, and a dressing room. The dressing room also offers a sitting area with two chairs next to the window, while the other side is for storage. Megan also was given fans a look at her home office on her 40th birthday, which boasts a rustic wooden desk, cream chairs, and a traditional fireplace behind her. To round out the office, the rest of the things that she has here followed matching muted and neutral tones for a very organized look. Aside from the main structure, there's also a detached guest house with two beds and two baths. Outside, other highlights are straight from a fairy tale like rose gardens, an olive grove, and even a tea house. The property is ideal for their two children to stay entertained as there's a kid's cottage and even an epic playground that sits within the grounds of the home. For when the adults want to entertain or have their own fun, there's also a lap lane swimming pool and a full-size tennis court out back. The pool is even surrounded by sun loungers and umbrellas, making it perfect to relax or entertain. Just a stone's throw from the ocean, the easygoing neighborhood their home is located in is the perfect spot for the private family to get some peace. While it's somewhat close to LA, Santa Barbara is relatively secluded and the more upscale residential areas are even harder to get to. Given Harry and Meghan's run-ins with LA paparazzi in the past, the move to Montecito made a lot of sense. As for where Prince Harry and Meghan live while they're in the UK, it's known that their residence is the Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. The couple moved in in 2019 before their first son Archie was born from their two-bedroom house at Kensington Palace. And while they stepped back as senior members, this remains their official family home when in England. The move out of London to Frogmore Cottage was a big step for the couple after the Queen agreed to create a new household for Harry and Meghan. The historic Grade 2 listed house part of the Windsor estate became a royal residence in 1792. It was converted back into a large family home for Meghan and Harry after being divided into multiple properties at the cost of $3 million. The couple moved to Windsor because their former home of Nottingham Cottage couldn't accommodate their growing family. The fully renovated modern family home the royal couple now occupies is a two-story, stucco-faced house and there are reportedly five ensuite bedrooms. Other features include a Gone with the Wind style double staircase, a huge kitchen and diner, as well as a yoga room. Prince Harry and Meghan also ordered alcove bookcases to place along new fireplaces and vanity units. Out back, the couple created a vegetable plot to grow their own fruits, vegetables and herbs. Not only did the Queen gift Frogmore Cottage itself to Harry and Meghan, but as a housewarming present, Her Majesty apparently offered the couple their own pick from the Royal Art Collection to make them feel at home. Well, that's gonna wrap up our Prince Harry and Meghan Markle house tour. Let me know what you thought of the Duke and Duchess's homes in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!